Alright, so today is Halloween, so I decided to make a little ghost. Pretty cool ghost, he's pretty cute. So, start off now with a cube. You don't gotta delete default cube today, that's pretty good. Add a subdivision surface modifier to him, and crank it up to 3. Once you've done that, you wanna go into wireframe mode, select half of it, and extrude it along the Z axis. Like that. Just like that. Now, next you wanna scale the whole bottom half using Z and then click 0. After you've done that, you want to get rid of a couple of edges just to make it a little bit more a uh, rounded shape instead of it's less of a harsh line that way. So now that you've done that, you can uh, start adding the little weird little rip parts that are normally underneath ghosts. And uh, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers like overcomplicate this. Just go into sculpt mode and sculpt them out manually. And it's super easy that way, and it's relatively quick. But just use the the grab brush and just bring down those little pieces down. <laughs> you've done that, bring them up on the Z, just kind of squish down the little ghost, make them a little bit more stubby, just like that. Now, give it a quick look, see if you like it, make sure you like it, and then uh, add a couple loop cuts in there just to make the geometry a little bit better. Cranking up the subdivision surface modifier once again, and then you're going to add arms to this guy. Shift A, bring in a mesh sphere, now you're going to change it to only 10 vertices here, um, and then shades move. You know, scale it down to uh, about arm size for ghost. The stubbier, the better. Um, now, go back into wireframe mode or x ray mode or whatever the heck it's called, and uh, select the bottom half again, just like we did for the main body of the ghost. And uh, scale it down along the Z. Just bring it down, extrude it along the Z, and uh, you get this shape, the little arm there. And then uh, make it a little bit different instead of just a super plain, plain arm. Just to make it a little bit different, we're going to select this vertice down here at the very bottom and uh, scale it using proportional editing to kind of make it have this taper shape on the arm. Just, uh, just like that. Just, just like that. That looks pretty good. Perfect. Right about there. Looks pretty good. So, now once you've done that, you just want to position the arm anywhere you want it. Just make it look nice so how you want your arm to look, I guess. And uh, just kind of place it in the ghost, scale it up, just mess with it until it looks decent. And uh, once you've done that, go and add it in modifier. You want to add a mirror modifier to this. So you don't want to scale it up and do uh, everything twice. So just do a mirror modifier and select the ghost body as the mirror object. And then uh, go ahead and uh, apply that modifier right there because you don't want to do it twice. So just apply it and then it'll, it'll, it'll be done. Just apply the modifier just like that. And uh, we're basically done with this ghost, but we're gonna add some materials and add a little face to it. Because we gotta make him a cute ghost, you know. So, uh, bring it up to a pure white. It's a default that's down a little bit. But, uh, bring it up to pure white. And then, in this one, we'll add a second material to it. This would be a, a UV unwrapped material. But we're gonna add in a new material. And, uh, go into the shader editor, image, right there. And then search for mix shader, right? Once you've got both of those in, connect them up just like so. Just add the alpha to the FAC in the mix RGB. And then uh, the image you want to use for your ghost face. And uh, you see nothing has happened so far. Alrighty, now that you've done that, go to the UV editor and uh, add in the, the face image you want to use. Transparent background works best for this. I just I made my own little face, but uh, you can make whatever face you want. And then just kind of make sure it's inside of the box of the UV editor. And then, all you gotta do is get out a UV editor, and as you see here, it's it's not quite the same shade of white. That's because uh, we forgot to change it to pure white. So go ahead and do that, and then you're done. You have a ghost right here. You're, just, it's, you're done. This is what you end up with once you render it out. And uh, I thought it ended up pretty cool, so pretty neat. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video, and tell me your favorite candy down in the comments below. My favorite candy is personally Milky Way, but uh, we can fight that in the comments if you want to. Hope you guys have a great day, and see you next time.